everybody thanks for popping by so I'm back today with an unboxing so as you can probably see this is um, an unboxing from the goodies from Southwest Planner Club now unfortunately I wasn't able to go um, I'd be honest I didn't realize it was taking place until it was too late to get a ticket and I would have loved to have gone um, and definitely serious FOMO from seeing everybody's stories and kind of um, videos uh, vlogs of the event however they did then put out these FOMO boxes so this is all the leftovers they've got of all the goodies that were available for the day so I obviously couldn't help myself and had to get one in fact I had to get two so there's a range um, of these boxes available. As far as I know, they still are available on the Southwest Planner Club um, website. So they're everything from five pounds up to 50. So I bought two. So this is a 25 pound one, as you can see, and you'll see what's in it shortly. And this was a 10 pound one. So I bought the two. Um, I was hoping that I would get some duplicates so that I could put some things in um, the giveaway that I've got coming up for you guys. So, um, and that has been the case. So there will be some goodies in here um, that will be going into the giveaway. So let's get into it and I'll show you what I got. So let's have a look at the bigger one first. So I will say a friend of mine bought the um, 50 pound one and she put some pictures up on Instagram yesterday. And I've got to say, she pretty much got everything, I think. Every item of swag that was um, available to everybody that went on the day. So, yeah, the £50 ones, if you want everything, brilliant. There were a few things I wasn't sure about, and to be honest, the bits I've got, I'm really happy with. Um, the planner I didn't need, that kind of thing, if you've seen. Um, but again, let's just get into it, and I'll show you what I got. So it came this morning, um, packed in this little... They were actually taped together, because I got the two, but they were separate boxes so there is a lot of stuff in here <laughs> so we will start so first off there's um a tote bag from court pens so i know that there were some these were given out as goodie bags um at the event with bits and pieces in so obviously in the box they've come along with um the the bag with some bits and pieces so that's that to start with so we'll pop that over there now I'll just move this over to the side my new friend by the way he wants to come and visit us in the videos so little raven to match the uh, <laughs> to match the channel I thought it would be nice if he popped in and made an appearance now we'll pop him over there okay so I have like I say I have already opened it and I had a quick look through um, just to see where the bits and pieces were. I had also got a friend here with me at the time. Um, she's a teacher and there were some whiteboard markers in there. I don't have a whiteboard and I don't use one and they were thin ones so they were perfect. Um, so I, I gave her those. So there were three Crayola whiteboard uh, markers which I presume were with the court pens um, bag so I passed those over to her because she'll make great use of them for her or either her um, teacher friends. So the first thing was this envelope, which is just, I mean, just look at those colours. So the envelope itself is amazing, I'll be keeping hold of that. So I will say as well, I was gifted some bits and pieces um, from another friend that was at the meet, um, and there were some bits that she wasn't going to use and she knew that I'd really like them, so she sent them over and she did send them actually in this envelope, so I've got another one as well. So yeah, really, really chuffed. Um, and in there was um, these Pipstick stickers. Right, this is going to be tricky because I don't have a lot of space here. So in here, there was the, um, the, the mag that you get with Pipsticks if you subscribe and then just a little focus about Marge from uh, Once More With Love. So there we go, and some of her drawings, so that's really sweet. And yeah, and so there's pip sticks, and then in here there's some various sticker sheets, which are very lovely. I used to subscribe to pip sticks actually, kind of back in the day, one of the first kind of places that I got any stickers from, um, and they were always really lovely. And I've still got some big puffy ones, I think, from when they did their big puffy stickers. So, first off, we've got this lovely holography holography holographic um sticker sheets there's lots of little flowers and a swan in the middle that's really super pretty 
And there's these kind of crystals. Very much my bag. Very like those. It's these cute cuckoo clocks, which are really sweet. But what I particularly love about this sheet is this little fox down here. These are just really cute, really tiny. And the mushrooms. And the deer, actually, I hadn't noticed. And the little bird. So, yeah, love that one. There's some little um, envelope letters. They're cute. Some stamps. Some very Beauty and the Beast-esque kind of flowers in the cloches. And some peacocks. I do love a peacock, so that is super pretty. So those are the Pipstick stickers. And then there's a beautiful um, journaling card. Stickers of my love language. Very, very true. Very true. So that's those. Oh no. Taking a nosedive, matey. Need a name for him. Do you want to put um, ideas for names down below? He's definitely going to need a name. <laughs> I think he will be popping up. And then um, some of the bits that were gifted me previously were once more with. Uh, no, they weren't, sorry, were one ton in a million. Because I really am a one ton in a million fan. Um, and my friend Alison sent me some bits over. But I've got some extra bits now in here. So this is the sleep mask which I'm really pleased with, so I would have been happy. There were socks as well, I think, but I would have been happy with either. Very happy to get the sleep mask. Very good, and it's, you know, quite appropriate, isn't it? It's crabby. It's <laughs> definitely crabby when you're trying to sleep. They are all mixed up, so not a, in the actual swag from the event, they were kind of in uh, together, but they've all been kind of mixed up and put in here, so there's all sorts of things. Then there's a really lovely little pack from uh, What's More With Love even to the point of the little chocolate bar as well that I think is only available in Canada I heard someone say and it's very popular over there so uh, Marge put them in as a as a little treat so I'm looking forward to trying that so coffee crisp sounds to me it's like a coffee kind of toffee crisp and there's the little um, sheet of stickers of all the Munchkin family love this whole thing's really sweet so, and then there was the uh, gotcha machine. And these are sticky notes, but they're sticky at the side, which is unusual, but I really like these. So I'll definitely, definitely be using these. I love anything kind of that's um, kind of Japanese kawaii themed as well. So they make me very happy. Um, and then this discount code on there. Try and cover that up in my edit. And then some sticky, sticky club stickers. Although these are quite kawaii, they're a bit Christmassy, a bit wintry, not exactly, I mean I may use them come kind of nearer to Christmas. Um, I'm not particularly seasonable when it comes to kind of Christmas holidays, but you know, I do love my autumn and Halloween. So then we've also got, um, Monthly kit add-on from planningwithk.com So that's quite nice, some day covers and numbers I'm sure I'll find you use for that, I love this green I, For some reason I've never really been a fan of green and The last couple of months I'm just obsessed with green Just I don't know what's going on, to the point of I bought these little um, storage boxes um, from Matalan I just thought they'd be great for kind of stickers and things and there's a pack um a pack of four in each pack <coughs> excuse me and i think they were four pounds and i bought a pink pack and the green but i just love this green so i don't know what's happening i seem to be having a green a green season do you do that do you find you have different seasons of different colors i love purple all the time purple is my main thing and that's what i tend to go for but yeah this olivey green olive foresty green yeah just a thing at the minute then there's a lovely pack from paper Shear, which are one of my favorite shops and i don't think i've got these either so i am super and i haven't got this journaling card so really happy so let's have a look qr code on there as well that's quite nice <coughs> apologies again still allergies i'm afraid my throat 
So there is um, this one and this one. Oh, that's really, I love these ones that she does, they're brilliant. And then some, oh, there was, there's two there. Oh, these are really cute. Kind of little planner friends, planner stack. Oh, I love this. Fantastic. And some flat lays. And it's really exciting. Um, so Southwest Planner Club have got an online event coming up in January. Um, and you can at the moment go on and you can buy um, a box to support the event with, again, with freebies and things that will come out before the event that you can use and lots of things um, to take part in their workshops so definitely worth having a look I will link um, the bits and pieces down below and they do have a patron as well if you're interested in joining that so there's lots of bits and pieces there too um, but yeah we've decided um, a group of friends that we're going to kind of get together for the the um, the online event and we're going to kind of do it together so that's really exciting so it's like our own little mini event of the event so i'm really excited about that just hope it doesn't snow or anything so that we all get snowed in and can't get anywhere because we've been in january and then there's the eye mask um because again it was um you're probably aware it was a slumber party theme so there are lots of things with this kind of ilk so i've gone from having no sleep masks to now having three for this one the crabby one and my beautiful one from Planning to Buy Create as well. So that's that one. So um, next I'm going to grab, so there's this uh, One Ton in a Million Washi. It's a Halloween themed one. So I have already got this. Again, my friend had gifted me this from the event. Um, and just as a heads up, this there is a roll of this in the £10 box as well that you'll see shortly. So um, this will be one of the items that will be going into the giveaway. It's really good, it's kind of like um, shaped, die cut. Um, it's all kind of Halloweeny and bats and yeah, candy cane. Not candy cane, that's Christmas ring. <laughs> candy corn and little ghosts. So super sweet. On the washi theme, there are two rolls here of washi from Simply Gilded. I think they're the same one. So again, one of these will be going into, because I also think there's another one in the, um, in the other box, I might be wrong, but there's two here, so one of those will go into the giveaway. Maybe even the two, because I don't really know if they're the kind of colours that would match kind of anything that I use, but we'll see. But they're beautiful, nonetheless. Um, still on the one ton in a million. There's this little badge. Oh gosh, I'm not on the camera at all. It's this little badge. Again, I've got these pins. The old, most of the one ton in a million things I was gifted from, from Alison, which I'm very grateful for. So I've already got this. So it's beautiful. But again, I'll be popping you into the giveaway. It's cute. There is another one as well, but I did only get one in the, in the FOMO boxes. There's another one that's kind of the other half. Uh, love is love badge. So there you go, pin badge. Oh gosh, I have to keep stopping to cough. Sorry, just constant dry throat. Um, then there's this um, little um, zebra Z grip. I do love Z grip pens. I'm not too keen on this one, just not really my design. I will pop it in the giveaway. Um, obviously, again, if it's not your thing and you do win the giveaway, then obviously you can pass it on. I've, well, of course you can you can do whatever you want with it once it's yours so that'll be that i think there's a couple of those um but yeah might keep hold of one for the little ones <laughs> little ones the 22 and 18 yeah little ones <laughs> the boys they might need some bends and there's a, a southwest planner club kind of members badge which is really cool because i have just joined their patron as well so that's nice and it's super pretty look at the shimmer on that Okay, <clears throat> and there's a beautiful little sticker from Rebel Jones. Stationery is my everything. It certainly is. So that, that's really nice. There's some information about uh, Rebel Jones on the back. And then there's this um, one again, which I think was from Court Pens, and it's the Durand Ink Tents. So this is like the little um, ink uh, palette, but it's crayon permanent when dry so I presume it's a bit like a watercolour pencil but it's the um, ink based one again so again that's going to be really interesting to try I do love the colour kind of burnt orange again that's another favourite of mine particularly around pumpkin season and yes I know it's early but to me pumpkin season's all year <laughs> 
Um, then there's these. Um, keep in mind adhesive page markers. I think they've got a bit, uh, a bit squished over slightly. Um, again, you'll see there's these in the other one as well. So the pack of these will be going in the giveaway. And they're really sweet, very handy. And there's a couple of more of um, Planner Society uh, sticky sheets. Again, these little washy ones, which are fab. These love these functional. I've not really seen any uh, functionals like this on washi paper before, so that's that's really nice. And I really love those colours. And there's a um, a little goodie pack from the Grumpy Tortoise, one of my favourite shops. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. I mean, completely true. Um, and there's a discount there, but then there's a lovely plan of friends and make the best friends. I really do. And there's a ghosty vinyl. I think his name's. I want to say his name's Scully. It is, yeah. So it's Scully. And she has got. Um, she released her um, advert calendars as well this week, and she's got a Scully only one. She's also got a true crime kind of um spooky one as well which again i've run out of money for now for advents but if it's still on sale um come um come next month i'll have to grab that and then i'm very excited because i haven't tried any of the stencils as yet from Upsa daisy but i've had a few um tapes and things from Upsa daisy um and bear with me because i'm gonna have everything collapse on me at any second so then we've got this which is um just so uh, people that make pins and things so ideas if you want to get any custom pins lanyards stickers keychains those kind of things so that's interesting there is a very sweet <laughs> little fella everything is docked i mean yeah there are very many situations where that's going to come in handy <laughs> Really nice um, Pentel pen and a gel, 0.7 pen, really nice basic everyday kind of pen, really lovely, these are really sort of juicy, um, come up really nice and dark on the page, so yeah, happy with that one. Like I said, there were a couple of other pens, um, but I'll pass them on to my friend um, because they'll be really helpful for her in the classroom. Then there is a um, program for the day. Which is nice, it's nice to see kind of how it was structured, but obviously not being there. But it does tell you kind of all the shops and thank you to all the sponsors. So that's probably going to be the main thing because I will look through. And any that I've not checked out or anything I can go and have a look at. And there's the uh, lovely girls on the back. And a couple of pictures, really sweet, so that's really nice. So that's nice to have. Um, and then there's this voucher for one month's membership at um, Happy Lifestyle Club. So I don't know if that was something that was connected to um, the venue. I have no idea. Okay. Okay, but we'll have a look at that. Quite interesting. So that is everything that was in the £25 um, FOMO box. So definitely um definitely worth worth the money there there's rather a lot of bits and pieces this is the um 10 pound one i ordered them at the same time they've come together um so again there's some bits and pieces in here there are a few as i said there are a few duplicates um as you'll see as we go through but i think this particularly for a 10 pounds if you just want a few items well, there's more than just a few items in it. There's quite a lot of items, but if you want like a cheaper option, I think this is a brilliant bargain. Really, really pleased with this. As you can see, they both actually came packaged like this. So, I'll get this opened up again. And then we've got another one of the Court Pens um, tote bags. So, uh, that is one that I'll put all the bits and pieces in that I'm going to put in the giveaway. which if you want more information about the, uh, the giveaway, if you go and watch my latest haul, all the information is in there. The uh, July haul, it's got all the, uh, the info there. So again, as I mentioned before, we've got a duplicate of the um, one ton in a million Halloween-y uh, washi. 
so we'll pop that in. We've got some of the ink tents um, little samples again in this one, so again that will go in the giveaway. I mean, like I said, my main focus to buying this as well as the 25 was to get some of the duplicates so that you know there'd be um, lots of things to put in. So there's another ruler, so again that will go in. There's these tabs, um, I'll probably keep this one because the other one's um, a bit better packaged so I'll probably keep this one and put the other one in the giveaway. But some more of those. Then there's uh, this little pack, it's called uh, Vellum of Crown Mill. Um, you can see their little envelopes. Nice green, not my favourite of greens but still just saying how much I like green and then these aren't my favourite green so <laughs> little envelopes and note cards I think so yeah literally just little cards so just put little gift cards into them use them as little gift cards rather um again another one of the zebra pens Got a little um, court pens leaflet, some information and a code on there. Then there's this, um, it was this pen as well. So this is a matte hop. Don't know if it's supposedly a, a matte gel pen, I don't know, but I'm going to give that a go and see how that is. It looks like a super thin one. So we'll see. Have a look at that one. And then we've got some, um, it's Mundane Sunday, but they're now a mundane life. So some washy and a very happy, spooky witchy. Look at that bat. Super cute. Uh, all the bits. So yeah, that's really lovely. Really, really pleased with that. And there's this pack of stickers from... Making sure I cover the code. This pack of stickers from uh, Self-Funding Products. They're available on Amazon. And there's lots of different kind of just stickers in there. So again, I'm not quite sure if they're ones I'll use. So I'm not going to take them out of the packet for now. So I'll um, probably put these in the giveaway, but we'll see. Because I don't think they'll be some that I would necessarily use. Um, there's some stickers from One Ton in a Million. So there's these ones, which are really cute, of all the little fellas and the planners. Um, and then there's a kit, and I do already have this kit again, it was um, part of what Alison gifted me. So, but I think because there's some foil at the back, and from what I work out, they're different colours. Actually, it's exactly the same as the one I've got. So, this has got some blue foiled um, bits and pieces as well. So, I'll pop this in the giveaway because um, I already have it. I think it's kind of like a monthly um, themed kit, but circus very sweet and um, my little fellow has fallen over again so what else do we have so we have another um, plan of the day leaflet um, I will pop this in with the other bits um, just in case anybody's interested but again more really for you to look through the different shops and there might be might find somewhere somebody that you don't know again there's these um, other leaflets that are there then we have this cute little, I think this is a one ton in a million again, isn't it? Or is it, actually I don't know if it is, is it one of um, Coffee Monsters or one of the crossovers? Really cute anyway with a little doggy hat. He looks a bit more like my steamy that I've got with the tiger hat, so I'm thinking it probably is a one ton. Then there's a beautiful um, kind of art print, Emily Harvey Art. Mermaidy one. Again, I have two of these, so we'll pop one of these in. It is only um, like kind of a leaflet and some info on the back about Emily Harvey, but definitely still beautiful to use. Um, and then again, there's a few sticker sheets. So this is monthly kit add-on again. So we had this one. Again, it's a duplicate. So again, this will be going in the giveaway. Obviously there'll be lots of other bits and pieces as well, not just stuff out of here. Then there's this one, which is a playlist one. And this is from Thumbelina Print. So, yeah, really nice. And then there's these, which I absolutely love these. So these are from Chrissy Ann Designs. 
and some really lovely kind of just mindfulness and being in the moment kind of quotes so these are very much the kind of uh, quotes and things that I like to use in my planners so that's really nice and then there's this <laughs> lovely vellum pack um, and it's the South West Planner Club kind of branding that they had for the event and then there's lots of samplers and different bits and pieces in here so I'll just go through these really quickly um, just so you've got an idea of what's in here so there's some bits from Punny Moon which one of my favourites, I love this, I've got the bigger version of this um, moon with the sticker and the bigger sticker, the one behind as well so that's really cute, there's this one from Scribbled by Starlight or oh, She's Messy and Beautiful on YouTube so yeah, I love Sarah's videos if you want kind of like a much bigger overview of the event and kind of all the swag Sarah's done a bit for everything, kind of all the things she bought, things on the D stash all the swag that she got, all the things that she's bought um, so yeah if you want a bit more of an overview she's done a brilliant video and there's this one from I'm kind of just trying to check your world of colour so again just want to kind of cover up the the coats it's really nice, some stickers and a, a nice vinyl <laughs> write in planners and make lists and still have no idea what's going on that I was hoping would be in there because that is totally true totally true <laughs> and then we've got um, a planner face one planner face sampler for the event and I've got one of the, the uh, planner meat kits that matches that beautifully something, a little one from um, Bujo Cult which really cute I need to check out this shop as well I keep meaning to have a proper look because it sounds like be very much my kind of thing um, this one from Lacuna Moon there's this really cute uh, Pippi Art Studios uh, card with a really sweet cat really like that one this one is really lovely too another favourite um, OK Doodles self kindness is calling <laughs> need to remind myself that and then we've got a uh, paper K moonlit journaling again with code but you can kind of see most of those there now these are sweet uh, from fluff mallow so just some again little reminder stickers there's this one from gem designs um, this one from Planner Head stickers, little die cut stickers. This really cute one, um, let me see, what shop is this? Okay, I'm really sorry, I can't read that right now, so, but there you go. I'll put it on the screen if I manage to, uh, to read it, it's just, the colour's a bit for the light bs illustrations sorry bs illustrations and creations there we go she's really sweet i really like that character then there is um fairly organized chaos that's a nice one um yellow bujo and this um debt free panda I'm showing you all the codes now, and I'm not managing to switch these off. Goodness me. Um, Harriet Wright. This one, I know, but looking at it straight away, is uh, Gretel Creates. Everything in moderation, except washi tape, of course. And Peach and Mimi. Love Peach and Mimi's. Um, Care Bear stickers, I've got one that I bought at the Midlands Planner Me, I've got the Grumpy Bear, very very cute. Um, Silent Beauty Plans, again just trying to cover up any, any codes, love that, I love the fountain pen, I'm just starting to use some fountain pen ink, so. Um, Fantasy Design Store, again just covering it. love these goldy uh, things and then this one 
Um, where is it from? Oh gosh, I'm not sure what the, where the shop is, I'm afraid. Remember, you, you once dreamed of being exactly where you are now. That's very true. And there's a lovely um, Stick With Me Me fall overlay. And then there's a uh, Mac and Grey Designs, a uh, business card and little freebie. Cute stickers only. One of my favourites, love cute stickers only, love Joey and Cake. Um, what's this one? Toto. Toto, is it Toto? Toto Creates, TYT. Um, and then this one is uh, Rebecca Yates Designs. Oh, I'm not doing very well with these, am I? Sorry, you can tell I'm not uh, used to showing swag. Um, Aubrey Elle Boutique. <laughs> Cute. Um, love this little guy, Washi Love. Again, not sure in the shop. Oh, um, West Wind and Co. And then we've got another one of these ones, which is the pen and paper, pen and paper and plans. So again, we'll pop one of these in the giveaway. And then there's a lovely um, leaflet from BJ Call. I will pop that in because I've got one of these from the Midlands Meet. Um, I just think it's interesting for people to see like new shops. So, <laughs> bit of a just disjointed one. I think I managed to show you all. So that's the two FOMO boxes from um, Southwest Planner Club. So the other thing I was going to mention is I think I mentioned in a previous video that I wanted to order some washi paper, printable washi paper. So I went ahead and I did do the order from AliExpress. Um, I bought another one of the pencil cases that you know we've all been loving but I managed to get it in black so that makes me happy because you know I do love my darker aesthetic where I can um, so yeah but I did order the washi paper now it's not quite what I thought it would be well it's not anything like I thought it would be but it's interesting so this was the pack and I think I think there's 50 or I can't remember how many sheets um, there's a decent amount of sheets and it's printable um, sticky paper and you can see and it's kind of an off-white but it's definitely not like a washi paper it's more of like a washi vinyl if anything so it is really thin it took me ages to do this when I was checking it so it's fine, you guys won't have to watch because I'll just jump the edit. So this is the paper and what I thought was going to be the backing, which is this, which is quite shiny, you can see there. It's actually a bit that's sticky. Um, and then that is a little bit more matte, I guess. But it's not like a thin um, washi tape at all. But it has got like a textured kind of look to it. So I'm going to give it a go and I'll do some um, printed deco stickers on it. Probably not kits. Not anything that needs writing on because I think that would be difficult to write on. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll kind of see. But no, it's not what I expected. So if anybody does know where you can kind of buy the printable washi, um, the printable sticky washi paper, kind of like what Sterling Ink use and like what was on the the those um, functional ones, then um, yeah, let me know because that would be really good. So. Um, thanks for popping by. Um, like I said, a lot of these bits and pieces will be going in the giveaway. One of my reasons for ordering, um, yeah, the two. I ordered the two so we could do that to get the duplicates. I could put some in for you, uh, for you all, so you'd have a bit more of a mix. But yeah, so um, pop across and watch my um, July haul and uh, just follow the instructions if you want to take part in the giveaway but other than that i hope you've enjoyed looking at um these fomo boxes they are still available i'll put the details down below um like i mentioned i think you can get everything from five pounds up to 50 definitely worth the money and worth having a look so again thank you all for popping by i hope you have a great week and take care mm -hmm.